Hi there, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer from Wellington, New Zealand. And today I'm going to show you how to use one of these with Adobe Lightroom. Alright, so now we're back at the computer and there's two main pieces of software you're going to need. There's the SCP toolkit, which connects the PS3 in my case controller to the computer and you can do it either with a wire or with Bluetooth. The second piece of software is called joy to key and as the name states, it's for getting the PS3 controller to work as a keyboard basically. So it means that you can use the PS3 controller for the keyboard shortcuts, which is how this actually works. So now we're just gonna hop into joy to key here and you can see my setup for Lightroom. So I'm not using a lot of the buttons, I've just got it pretty simple just using the ones that I need day to day. One annoying thing is due to limitations in Lightroom, there actually aren't keyboard shortcuts for everything by default. For example, with noise reduction, you can't actually do that with a keyboard shortcut as far as I know, which is quite annoying. And also cropping is the other thing I need to do with a mouse, but that's fine. Cool, so we're just gonna hop into Lightroom here now. And here are some photos from a gig I photographed in the weekend. So you can see I've got the PS3 controller here and because of the joy to key, I can go through the photos like this, which is really useful. So now I'm in the develop mode and you can see that I've got the D-pad set up so that when I go up and down, it'll cycle through the sliders over here, which is really useful and left and right on the d-pad is going to increase or decrease those sliders. And I've got a couple of other shortcuts as well. I've got this for copying settings, just clicking in the analog stick, and then I've got the other analog stick set up for pasting those settings. I've also got the triangle set up for turning it black and white, or back again, and I've got X set up to do a five star rating. So if I go back to Joy to Key, you can see that you can add heaps more shortcuts like I know a lot of people like to sort things differently and things like that. Now both those pieces of software are free. Joy to Key I believe is shareware so you have the option to pay for it. I haven't yet, I probably should. But yeah, so you can actually do this on quite a low budget which is how I like to work. So thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video or send me a message, I'm happy to help.